In tonight's Fox 17 Waste Watch report, security experts say nuclear facilities here in Tennessee and across the country are in danger of being infiltrated by terrorists. Our media partner, the Washington Guard, I should say Guardian, and reporter Jennifer Gilbert tonight to show us the security flaws they found. Security at one of America's nuclear facilities is no match for an elderly nun. Megan Rice was among three protesters who call themselves Transform Now plowshares that evaded all means of detection a week ago, getting inside the Y-12 National Security Complex in Tennessee. So you actually had an 82-year-old nun able to get into the facility, and they made it to a building where uranium is housed. Much of America's weapons-grade uranium is thought to be housed there, a key element needed to make nuclear bombs. Nationally renowned security expert Michael Greenberger says America is setting itself up for a national disaster. The problem here is if a terrorist was able to get loose in one of these facilities, they could cause untold damage. According to the Washington Guardian, the same facility has come under the scrutiny of the Department of Energy for mishandled explosives, to reports of employees showing up for work drunk. People are overworked, uh, there aren't enough people, and this is just yet another reflection of the fact that the United States government is trying to do things on the cheap. Problems run well beyond Oak Ridge. The Washington Guardian combing through documents found serious security issues plaguing nuclear facilities around the U.S. Inspectors at the Savannah Nuclear Facility in South Carolina and at the Idaho National Laboratory discovered dynamite and C4 plastics stored near flammable materials. At the Sandia National Lab in New Mexico, the inspector general found flaws in inventory reports. Even Los Alamos, the birthplace of the atomic bomb, is not squeaky clean. Concerns persist whether the facility is adequately protected from the shocks of an earthquake or wildfires. Officials with the Energy Department told The Guardian they are aware of the concerns and most are being addressed. Nun Megan Rice is out of jail on her own recognizance. She will continue her protest against nuclear facilities. She wants them all shut down. At least she intends to keep finding the flaws. I'm Jennifer Gilbert reporting. A federal grand jury has toughened the charges against those three anti-war protesters here in Tennessee. In fact, the indictment released today charges the three, including the 82-year-old nun you just saw, with attacking the Y-12 National Security Complex near Knoxville. That charge carries a maximum penalty of 10 years in prison. You can find all of our Waste Watch stories at our website, fox17.com. Just go there and look on Hot Topics and then click on Waste Watch. You can also submit your ideas ideas for local Waste Watch stories in the same section. And be sure to click on the Washington, uh, Washington Guardian for more stories from our media partner.